We're live in the CP24 newsroom. Getting you healthy at work is what we're talking about today. I'm standing here with Dr. Craig Rosenblatt, who's an ergonomist, chiropractor, and he's going to tell us all about how we can get healthier while we're at our desk. You know, let's jump right into it here, literally into the chair. Tell me, walk me through what it is that I should probably be doing when I'm sitting desk side to stay healthier. Well, what I'm looking at, uh, first of all, is um, to configure the workstation so that your body mechanics and your posture don't have to work to accommodate an ill-suited workstation. Rather, we want, you, want to have you in a comfortable position, a uh, position that's posturally stress-free, and then design the workstation around you. I'll so tell you, first, the first thing that happens yep. to me, you know, when I typically work in an environment just like this, and even if it's at home, and, you know, I'm resting my arms against the, the you know, the, the right. ridge of the table here, and, and I often, after a couple hours, it starts to, to hurt. Absolutely. What's that doing? Yeah. Well, that's a pretty dangerous contact stress that you described, okay. and uh, very common. And uh, what that's doing is it can cause bone bruising, muscle damage, neurovascular compromise, can lead to all kinds of nasty issues with respect to your forearm and hand. Um, and like I said, it's very common, and it's because the keyboard and the mouse are on your desktop. That's okay. one of the biggest issues and concerns that we face in the, in the office is the placement of the keyboard and mouse. Wherever the keyboard and mouse are positioned is where your body will go. This well, this is what I do. And, you know, as I'm positioning this out, let me just ask you a question. As a chiropractor, Gonis, do you have the perfect workstation at home? Absolutely not. No? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, no. the workmanship of a carpenter. The last thing he does is his own home, right? Yeah, okay, so let's, right. let's get back to this. This is typically how I would sit. Um, what's, what's wrong about it? Okay, so because, as I had said before, the keyboard and mouse are on your desktop, yep. you're having to bring your body forward right. to reach those items, ah, okay. right? So I see you're leaning forward in your chair. You're not using the back at all. If there's a lumbar support here, you're not getting the benefit of that. You're not able to recline in your chair, which is the optimal posture. So no matter what kind of chair you have, it's useless if you have to reach forward to be able to, to reach those items. Okay, so what do we have here? What would be a better solution here? So this uh, here is um, an articulating keyboard tray. This is um, made by a company uh, called Human Scale. They uh, make uh, great ergonomic products from chairs to um, uh, keyboard trays, okay. monitor arms, and lighting and, solutions. And this fits right underneath the and, uh, Yeah, the this would go under the desk like that, and you would put your uh, keyboard and mouse on here. Okay. That way you can have the... Essentially, it would be a little, little yeah. closer to me. Then you could lean can back, back, recline in, in your right. chair, and exactly, assume this comfortable position that you have now. Wouldn't my, You're wouldn't not my reaching uh, boss forward. think I'm a slacker if I'm doing this? It, it, <laughs> you know what? That's a psychological barrier that people have a tough time Because I'll overcoming. tell you, this, this does feel a lot more comfortable if my... Right, uh, of course, because you're in a natural... When you're sitting at home and watching TV, this is how you sit, so that's obviously a natural, comfortable position for you. Okay. That's what we want to try to accomplish in the workplace. Um, your boss has to overcome that issue of you looking like you're slacking at work. Right. <laughs> is that kind of thing expensive, though? I mean, is that really that hard for uh, most employers uh, to settle for their employees? Not expensive. This particular one here, I think, runs about $250. And um, uh, it's, uh, it can change everything about your workday. Neck pain, back pain, wrist issues, carpal tunnel syndrome issues can all be eliminated simply by the installation of a keyboard track. Excellent. Int Integrity Films uh, tweets us and says, you know, getting stuck sitting or standing, for that matter, a lot of jobs require you to stand long term. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, cause a repetitive strain and, and stress from the job in answer to our question, are you uh, feeling healthy at work? So uh, answer this for Integrity Films. If you're somebody who stands a long period of time or possibly enter into those scenarios with, you know, repetitive strain from typing or using the mouse the wrong way, right. uh, what is some of the solutions uh, to put in place for somebody for stands, first of all? Right. Well, anything that you're doing for a prolonged period of time is going to be, you know, can cause health problems. But standing jobs, it can be difficult to eliminate. If the, your job requires you to be standing, it's, uh, it can be difficult to eliminate that particular aspect. And orthotics? You want to be looking at footwear, exactly. Okay. Appropriate footwear, uh, orthotics might be uh, called in order. That can have a, an effect on your knees, your hips, your pelvis, and your lower back simply by um, changing the positioning of your feet. Excellent. You're standing, I'm sitting. Let's answer a question from uh, Maria from Brampton, who's got a call. Uh, Maria, are you on the line with us there? Yes, Hi. I am. I am. I love your show. I always Thank watch you. it. Um, so the question for the chiropractor, right now I'm not at work because I have um, a spinal disc injury in my neck. I have a bulging disc. Okay. And what I want to know is what can I do at home that will help me to get back into work as quick as possible? So. Excellent question. Yeah. And did it happen at work, or was it something you did off the job? 
Uh, no, it didn't happen at work. It okay. was off the job. Okay, so a bulging disc is a good chiropractic question. I mean, you're in practice now as well as assessing workplaces. What would mm -hmm. you give uh, Maria for some advice as it relates to a hot disc? Well, that would uh, obviously depend on the severity of the injury. Sometimes these are things that through natural history could take up to two years or more to to um, recover from that. That's not necessarily going to be the case. Uh, you do want to see a chiropractor or another health professional to get some advice on that, but stretching and uh, strengthening exercises are very important for that, and traction as well as a therapeutic measure uh, can be quite helpful with respect to uh, disc bulges. Traction, absolutely. You know, what we had for a while at the office was uh, we had um, we had a device called the DRX 9000, which was actually a really cool, you know, disc, uh, you know, uh, con you know, contraption essentially that would cause negative vacuum right. or decompress the disc. Yep. Uh, we since don't have that anymore, but are there still uh, clinics uh, around the GTA that do service people for decompression? Yeah, well, traction is an old uh, therapy. It's not. It's not something that's new um, today. Could that help, Maria? And <clears throat> Absolutely, and especially cervical traction can be done by hand. Uh, with respect to lumbar traction, there are tables, and there's also machines that can do cervical traction, but there are um, uh, chiropractic tables that have that traction element built in. But right. cervical traction can simply be done by hand, have the patient lying down on their back, and you just take a firm grasp on the head and gently pull back and forth. It's so as see, simple as that. Not your significant other. See a professional about right. that, right? Let yeah. me tell you what happens to me when I sit down at home, especially, not necessarily at the office. I get a lot of pain here mm -hmm. because I'm sort of, maybe I'm doing what you just mentioned. I shouldn't do sitting forward, but a right. lot of the pressure happens right at the base exactly. of my leg. A couple of hours after seeing patients, I start to go numb if I don't get up and examine them as right. often as I possibly you know, yep. should be. So um, what, what should I be doing about that? As you um, mentioned, maybe sitting back. Again, you want to sit back in the chair. And at home, if you're on your computer, that's probably the problem that you're having to lean forward to reach your laptop or desktop computer at home. You want to be able to sit back and recline in your chair. If you're sitting on the edge of the seat like that, you're getting that dangerous contact stress in the back of your thigh that's leading to the numbness in your thigh. You really, the chairs have lumbar supports, recline features, all this fancy stuff that you want to be using and get the benefit out of them. Uh, so sit back, recline in your chair. That's ideal. Excellent advice. Lysol. Hand sanitizers, you know, any kind you can get out there, especially the natural ones. Those are probably the best, the uh, fragrance-free. And uh, what I keep desk side these days, after investigating this a little bit further in Italy, is an Echinacea product called uh, uh, Echinacea product called uh, Flu Shield. And this stuff here, this works. So all this stuff in your drawer, this is absolutely what you want to keep uh, aside from a really nicely working ergonomic environment. Next, uh, break, after the break, we're going to come back and show you some really simple desk side exercises with fitness expert and trainer Bruce Cron. Stay right there. Reach us in the GTA by dialing 416-872-2724 or outside the area at 1-888-863-2724. Send an email to wildonhealth at cp24.com or follow Bryce on Twitter by visiting cp24.com.